best bites forever. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited to share today's recipe with you because today I am making something inspired by one of my all-time favorite Christmas movies. Today I am making eggnog inspired by Christmas Vacation. And for this, I really wanted to like channel my inner Griswold and kind of get into Clark's head a little bit and really think about what I think he would have asked Ellen to make because I don't think that Clark is in there whipping up homemade eggnog in the kitchen, but I do think that their family's like traditional and that whole thing. So I think there's going to be traditional eggnog, homemade eggnog, let's say homemade eggnog, but I think Ellen's making it. And I think Clark has a special request this year because I think he had like a little Christmas fantasy going on in his head. And I am super, super excited because I thought about this for days until I finally decided what I was going to do to set this eggnog apart from every other eggnog recipe out there. I really wanted it to be like Clark's eggnog. And here we go. I am just, I'm ready to go. Let's get started. The first thing that I want to do is get my milk going on the stove. So here I am going to put five cups of regular milk. And I'm also going to be adding some cinnamon and nutmeg to it. I have a half of a teaspoon of each. This is going to go onto the stove on low heat until it comes to a simmer. So while the milk is over there doing its thing on the stove, I am going to go ahead and separate my eggs. And for this recipe, I need 12 egg yolks. I normally just do it like this in my hand. It's kind of the quickest, easiest way for me to separate, although that first one was being just a little bit on the stubborn side, but that is okay. So I did pick up this little gadget though at the dollar store the other day. I was in there looking for these containers that I'm going to use for my eggnog and I want to give it a little try. So it looks like this, like my hand is covered in goo, but that's okay. I want to give this a try just to see how it goes. Ah! Okay, so I broke my egg yolk a little bit. Ah, don't go egg yolk. We need to keep you in there. So I'm going to go ahead and finish doing these egg yolks. I'm giving this thing one more try here. I'm going to go ahead and finish like it's like kind of does the same thing your fingers do if you just hold it in your fingers but it seems like it's going to be a little slower oh that worked that was cool that's cool so if you're not good at separating your own eggs that's definitely a good option i'm going to finish this up and i'm going to wash my hands and i'll see you in a second okay so my milk is still over on the stove and i'm going to go ahead and mix my sugar i have one and a quarter cups of sugar and i also put a pinch of salt so if i ever tell you guys a pinch of salt i'm like talking an eighth to a quarter of a teaspoon i'm going to mix these eggs up all right so these are nice and thick and this is right where i want them so i'm just going to let these hang out for a second all right so i put this into something for pouring and i am just going to turn my mixer on and drizzle this this is tempering our egg yolks And you just want to do a little bit at a time because you don't want to cook your eggs. Of course, be careful not to pour it down into the fan of your mixer like I just did because that probably won't make it very happy. As you start to warm the eggs up, you can add a little bit more at a time. But like at the beginning, you, you only want to add a teeny little bit. Because if you heat the eggs up too quickly, what you'll end up with is scrambled eggs instead of a nice, like, creamy drink. Which is obviously what we are going for here. So, so far, so good here. I'm just going to start adding a little bit more at a time. Alright, do you all get the idea here? I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, and I will be right back. So this is what it is looking like at this point and it's nice and creamy absolutely great consistency here I'm going to return this to the stove so I'm just going to add it right into my pot that I was using earlier and I'm going to bring it up to 160 degrees so in here is some of the milk that I would left behind I had just removed enough to fill up my little measuring cup there and I'm going to add this right back in I'm gonna kind of do a little left-handed stirring here which is Definitely not my strong point, but that's okay. We're going to go for it. Gorgeous. Got a little bit of sugar stuck on the bottom, but generally I'm doing well here. 
no scrambled eggs. That's always a good sign. I just want to take its temperature really quickly to see where I am so that I know how long I have to go. Okay, so it looks like I'm at about 140 degrees. I do want to take this up to 160 just to make sure that I kill any germs that may be hanging out in there. So I'm going to keep this on. I have it on number three. I have a digital stove, but I'm just going to kind of keep stirring it, especially along the bottom to make sure I don't make scrambled eggs. That is like the biggest thing that you can, you know, kind of make this recipe go wrong doing. So keep stirring from the bottom and scraping the sides and bring it up to 160. We are almost done too, guys. So I just want to show you that we're almost there. I'm like just about to hit 160. You can see it's nice and frothy and has like a nice foamy creaminess to it. Again, I'm just stirring from the bottom as I go and doing my best not to make my eggnog into scrambled eggs. And I am, I'm going to say that is exactly 160. So I just want to do a little spoon test here. Basically, you're going to stick your spoon in, go like this. If it's coating the back of the spoon, that is gorgeous. That's just what I'm looking for. Sorry for the loud banging, everybody with headphones. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this from the heat. Okay, guys, I have hit my 180. Do not attempt to go any higher than that because it will definitely not be a good thing for you. I'm going to go ahead and take this off of the heat and slide it over. Hang on, I'm going to slide you over with me. Hi. Okay, so here I have my bowl. I'm putting it right back in there. Yes, we had raw eggs in there earlier, but remember we tempered them. And not only that, but see that came out pretty good. There's a little stuck to the bottom, but we did good here. Okay, so yeah, anyway, this is going to heat back up to 180, so it really doesn't matter. And there is my gorgeous eggnog, with the exception of obviously we need to add a little bit more goodies in there. So I'm going to take you back to the counter. I am going to continue this recipe by adding in three cups of heavy cream. I'm just going to kind of stir that as we add it. And this is going to help bring the temperature down a little bit, which is going to be awesome. I'm also adding in a teaspoon and a half of vanilla extract. You don't want to add that before you start heating it up because it will just cook out. So I do need to add one more cup of cream in here, which is going to give me a total of three and I'll be back. Okay, I've added all my cream in and now I'm going to take part of this and fill this jar because I think we all know that Clark is a family man and he would want the kids to have some non-alcoholic but also homemade eggnog. I'm just going to kind of, you know, scoop this into my, well, ladle it into here and I'm going to transfer it and I will be right back with that. Okay, are you all ready to find out what the final ingredient is going to be? And now I told you it wasn't bourbon and it's none of that stuff but we are going to have a Hawaiian Christmas. Yes, because you remember earlier in the movie, Clark was having his little melakalikilaka moment. I won't sing anymore, but we're gonna add two and a half cups of pineapple rum into this. And then this just needs to go into the refrigerator and cool overnight and it will be ready to serve. Also, side note, there's one for the kids. No alcohol for them. All right, everyone, let's give this eggnog a try. I am super excited. I'm rocking my little moose cup. And of course I got the moose cup. Isn't it totally cute? I think we should go two hands on this because I'm a little afraid I'm gonna drop it, to be honest. It is absolutely delicious. It is everything that I thought it was going to be. I can taste that pineapple coming through. It's got just a touch of cinnamon and nutmeg in there. It's thick, it's rich, it's creamy. It is everything that Clark would have wanted for his eggnog. I'm telling you, we are rocking the Hawaiian eggnog Christmas theme, and I am super, super loving it. I'm totally making this again. I'm going to share it with everybody that I know because they're going to love it, and I'm excited. I feel like I, I kind of got it right this time, you guys. I feel like I got, I got Clark's eggnog. What do you guys think? Leave it down below in the comments. And also, while we're talking about it, if you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Ring the notification bell to get notified. <laughs> to get notified. Can you tell that I had a shot of rum before I started this? Yes. No. Click on the bell to get notified of upcoming videos. And also, hello to all of my subscribers, my enthusiasts. I'm glad that you guys stopped by. Mwah! I love all of you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Back bite forever.com.